we introduce those coefficients in the last page in order to introduce another concept, another important concept, which is karma. So karma is defined as kinetic energy released in the medium. So by definition, it is the energy divided by mass. It is the initial kinetic energy of all the charge ionization particles. In this case, it is secondary electrons liberated by the uncharged particles. In this case, it is the incoming photon beams that transpassing this um, region. So it is nothing more than the, the transfer multiplied by the energy flux, which I'll talk about it in the next slides. So let's see the transfer. It actually includes one through four. So it, it does not include no interaction. It does not include no energy exchange. So it basically includes all the energy exchange in this region. And again, absorption is all the energy exchange that liberates the secondary electron. So by definition, you know, um, the karma can be breaked into two concepts. One is the collisional part of the karma, which is the any part that generates these secondary electrons, these blue blue thing. Any any interaction that generates the the blue, and also the radi radioactive part, which is actually just anything that attributes to the Bramstrom photon that escape the measuring volume. And let's go back to uh, really quick about the energy flux here. So, so energy flux is the energy multiplied by the photon flux. So photon flux is, for example, if you have a sphere and your sphere has a cross-section and the cross-section has an area A, the, the photon flux is uh, the number of particles that passing through this cross-section perpendicularly divided by the area of this, uh, uh, this cross-section. So energy flux is just the energy multiplied by the photon flux. So we, we now learn that karma is is related to closely related to the energy transfer and energy absorption it can be break into the col collisional part and radioactive part so here's a question and uh, is the collisional karma just the absorbed dose 